Hi Bulldogs, this is your video all about nervous system. Again, this week you have the choice of watching the video or reading the section in the textbook. If you are reading the section of the textbook, it is um, paired with the endocrine system and we are not covering the endocrine system. Um, so you only have to read up to page 534, um, which just covers the nervous system. Either way, if you're watching the video or reading the section of the textbook, you should be taking notes, um, which of course you can use on the quiz. So have your note page out and ready. Let's begin. Um, the nervous system includes three main parts, um, the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Um, so these three parts of the nervous system work together to send um, messages or impulses from all over your body uh, back to your brain where those messages are perceived and understood and then messages are sent back out to the different parts of your body um, and things then happen. So it kind of depends on what those messages are. Um, maybe if you're too hot, then those messages are sent to your brain and then your brain will then um, send messages back out and you will sweat, right? Um, so uh, that is one type of message that could be sent. Or if you touch something that is hot, then your brain will send, uh, or your nerves will send a message to your brain saying, ouch, that is hot. And your uh, brain sends a message to your muscles to then pull your hand away. So obviously these messages are um, traveling through your nerves extremely, extremely fast. They're electrical impulses that travel through your nerves extremely fast. Um, and they travel through these three parts of the nervous system, the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. So your nervous system receives information about what is happening both inside and outside outside your body. It directs how your body is going to react to this information. Um, in addition, your ne uh, nervous system, of course, is helping your body maintain homeostasis. Um, without your nervous system, you could not sense the world around you. Um, so really, when we're thinking about our nervous system, we are actually thinking about all five of our senses, right? Our sense of um, seeing, our sense of taste, our sense of touch, our sense of hearing, and our sense of smelling. Um, because uh, our nervous system is gathering all of that information um, from the outside world, but also uh, our nervous system is working on what's happening inside of our body as well. Um, so any change or signal in the environment that an organism um, can recognize it and react to is a stimuli. So anything that is happening in the environment um, and you as a human, because uh, you're an organism, uh, and you react to that stimuli, it, or react to that is a stimuli. So here are some examples. If you smell cookies baking, that would be the stimuli. Um, so you go to the kitchen and eat one, that would be the response. So you smell something, that's the stimulus or stimuli. Um, your response, maybe you go to the kitchen or wherever you smell them and you eat them. Um, uh, someone jumps out unexpectedly from around the corner, that's a stimuli. Um, your response is it makes you jump. Um, another example is maybe a friend holds up their hand, that is a stimuli, and you give them a high five, right? That would be a response. So there's some examples of stimulus and response. Of course, we got to talk about homeostasis because our whole last unit with human body systems is how each one works together to maintain homeostasis. So the nervous system is a huge, huge, huge part of homeostasis um, because the nervous system helps maintain homeostasis by controlling all systems of the body. So for example, impulses are sent through the nervous system, um, sending those electrical messages to the brain, letting it know when you're hot, when you're tired, when you're hungry. Um, etc. So um, in that case, then you're going to sweat, then you're going to get up and go to sleep, then you're going to go eat something. So you're, you know, working with the excretory system, you're working with your muscular system, you're working with your digestive system to help maintain homeostasis. Another example, um, your skeletal system is protecting, again, vital, vital organs. So you have uh, your skull protecting your brain, 
that's working with the nervous system. You have your uh, vertebrae protecting your spinal cord. Um, so those two systems working together to maintain homeostasis. So the nervous system is really working with all body systems to maintain homeostasis. The nervous system is broken into two parts, um, and we call them the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system, or the CNS and PNS um, for short. So the central nervous system includes the brain and spinal cord. So um, just the brain and the spinal cord are uh, the CNS, and they are the control center for the nervous system. So they gather all of the messages from the nerves and it's like the control center. So in this picture here, um, the brain and spinal cord are in pink. They are the control center. They gather all of the information and it's all gathered into one central, hence the name, location. Um, the peripheral ner nervous system is the network of nerves that branches out from the CNS and connects it to the rest of your body. So in this picture, everything in blue are all of the nerves um, that go throughout the rest of your body. And uh, I think of those as like the information getters, right? So the those nerves are gathering all of the information from the rest of your body. All of that information is gathered to your um, spinal cord and then of course into your brain. And then the last thing you need to know about, this is a short video because we're only covering one system. So a reflex is an automatic response that occurs rapidly without conscious thought. Um, so for example, if a doctor hits your knee and uh, in the doctor's office, you're gonna have a natural reflex and your leg should move. Um, so a lot of times doctors are checking different reflexes um, to make sure that your nervous system is working correctly. Um, another one we've already talked about is when you touch something hot, you have a natural reflex, of course, to pull your hand away. Um, and of course, reflexes are controlled by your nerves and your nervous system. That is it for the nervous system. Um, make sure that you are taking your quizzes this week and getting all of your assignments turned in. If you have any questions, please make sure you're sending Mr. Miller or myself a message, and we will see you in our live lessons. Toodles.